This one got hit in this rear body panel, almost like a tin can, all in here. Subaru Outback here. This one got hit in this rear body panel, completely crushed all of this, and it folded up the floor pan, almost like a tin can, all in here. And you could see here, inside's completely crushed. So this one's going to be getting a new rear body panel, as well as a trunk floor section. Subaru actually has a procedure. I'll have to look up the exact measurement, but right somewhere in here you could cut this trunk floor and section just this back half of the trunk floor in. To do that, I also have to cut these pieces off because it's lapped underneath there. I'm going to go ahead and dive into this one. First, I'm going to grab this rear body panel and I'm going to roughly pull everything out before I start cutting it apart just to get anything that's shifted back in its proper spot. And then I'll go ahead and cut this back panel off and work my way in. Now I'm getting into this trunk floor here and you can see this comes as a complete assembly all the way back to here. However, to put that whole thing in, I would have to cut a bunch more of these braces off and you get way more in depth into this job to put this whole thing in. So we got these procedures directly from Subaru and they have a sectioning procedure to section this floor in right here. So I'm gonna roughly cut this floor out right on this side of the tape. And then the new piece, I'm gonna cut longer. And they show on this page, it actually overlaps. So the new piece is gonna overlap and it'll get plug welded 
all the way across there. They developed this just so you don't have to get as invasive into the job. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this trunk floor cut out now. So I have this trunk floor sitting in there ready to weld. I'm going to go ahead and get this welded in. Then I will start fitting my, getting my rear body panel prepped out and fit up as well as these caps that go on here. So I got this one all fit together. The lift gate latches and seals nicely. My lights all line up nice and even. However, I was waiting for these plates to come in. And the reason I haven't welded the rear body panel on yet is because these have to go on, they have to fish underneath here before the rear body panel goes on. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to lift this rear body panel back off and I'm going to put these plates on. I'll get these welded down, then I will put the rear body panel back on and get that welded on as well. 